Good afternoon, good evening, and good night, and welcome to Throwbacks, where we talk all things cool and retro. And today, we got something cool that is definitely retro, uh, from about 20-something years ago. Uh, this is the Star Wars Unleashed Django and Boba Fett. Yes, folks, the Fett family that uh, don't get nearly as much love anymore as they used to with what with all these new mandalorians running around and crazy and whatnot with their own tv shows like they somebody but uh without daddy fett we wouldn't have a uh, little boba and we definitely wouldn't have the clone army that we all love and uh do you guys even remember the unleashed line it, it uh didn't last for too long now in the early 2000s i want to say these were like close to 20 bucks which is a steal these days but uh you know back then that was that was considered a lot of money for what uh, is basically their attempt to kind of do a sort of high-end statue and uh yeah i think they're pretty cool you can check that out if you want you can collect all of these i think i had a couple more i think i had like I think I used to have like an Ayla Sakura, and uh, I think I still have an Obi-Wan one somewhere, it's like buried under stuff, I don't know. But I never did have this Django Fett one, and uh, I like Django a lot, and, uh, eh, and here he is. So without further ado, Star Wars Unleashed Django, let's get after it. A cool little, little base to put him on very very nice detail that's of course the landing platform on Kamino where he fought Obi-Wan a <laughs> nicely little yellow plastic tray there which you can tell is definitely early 2000s uh, no rubber bands falling out yet but I expect some will here in a second some. Alright. Get this big thing out of here. Uh, Alright. Okay. He's got some of those little plastic bread ties that uh, everybody's nemesis is trying to get a, a figure quickly un unpackaged and oh there's our mortal enemy the toy collector who opens boxes boba's going no stay out of my episode mandalorian all right we'll put him over here for now uh, i forgot they have these little pegs on their legs i guess that's to keep them uh in the slots See. I just gotta do this real quick. There's one foot. I'm probably doing this wrong. Right. Uh, there we go. Yep, there he goes. Maybe. Eh. I don't know. But, uh, and of course, helmet is not removable. Range finder. Nothing moves on this guy. He's just, he literally is a plastic statue. But he does look nice. He does look good. It would be nice if the jumpsuit was painted the correct color, but you know, I guess maybe it's it's raining, you know, it's maybe the suit soaking wet. I don't know. But the armor looks good. The sculpt looks good. Very nice overall. And let's see. Oh, we did not look at accessories yet. Let's see what else is in here. There's a little a raincoat for Boba, and uh, it's already kind of weathered, which looks cool. Not sure if that was intentional or just this thing is really old. Either way, it looks neat. What else? Yeah, there's, uh, more ties. No, not more plastic ties. Get out of here. Call in the tie fighters. Come on. Uh. 
Right, hard not to cut into stuff or break stuff. Okay. And there is his iconic jetpack that he later passes on to Boba. Yeah, it looks very nice. Very nice detail. Really great sculpt. Very good quality for the time. I dig it. And let's see, did he come with some? Oh, some little cards that fell out of here. I don't know. Some kind of card playing game. Oh, well, let me go ahead and mail that in, whatever that is. And I'll probably get some AOL trial, try for free cards or something. Discs, I mean. That's cool. Oh, that's neat. All right. Didn't know those existed. But I'm not surprised. Because everything used to be about those little card games. I think that's everything out of here. One last look at this, pretty neat. And uh, I'll put this over here for there. And he comes with his two blasters. And they look good, they look good enough. I'm kind of missing that kind of gray blue paint on the handles, but you know, they look good. Very good scope. They don't feel too rubbery like some modern day blasters do <clears throat> all right and we have boba and he comes in his little kind of clone cadet outfit and a very dramatic pose and the sculpt is very good on him and he is one piece not removable it's too bad there's not like a separate little stand you could put him in you know maybe to kind of fit in with black series figures because I feel like he would yeah, let's put his little cape on him not sure how this goes uh, I feel like it goes huh? oh silly me uh, I don't know I gotta look at the picture again before I break it yeah, let's look at this base one more time I just love the paint job on this little weathering and the little design. I, I don't know if that's, I feel like, is that like the water hitting the ground? Because if it is, that's awesome. Way to go on the attention to detail there. It's got like little lights, which of course doesn't light up, but kind of reminds me of the, the Jedi Temple uh, little scene, you know, you, you build the Jedi Council. And they all sit in there. Anyway. Um, I gotta look at the picture real quick. I forgot I how he goes in there, I guess. Oh, okay. I get it. I get it. I get it. <clears throat> so, it's kind of weird, but let's see if I can get this on it. Gosh. Hmm? That way. There we go. Everybody watch this going. Of course it's that way, you idiot. Ugh. Ugh, old plastic trying to be careful. <clears throat> so, so the thing where he has uh, that is not boo blasters, and is actually where he's supposed to fit into. There's little holes in Django's thighs where they fit together. And I guess it's supposed to keep them more stable. Uh, aha, there it is. That makes sense. I don't know if you can see what I'm doing, but I'm trying to get them all plugged into this bad boy. to be careful because it does not want to go in there and I'm not really trying to break it everybody's always like oh just heat that up with a 
blow dryer. I'm like, no, I don't really want to melt my toys, thanks. But anyway, I guess he's just going to crouch over. And you know, I saw a lot of these loose uh, for sale, and I wanted a packaged one because I figured that would be the most, uh, you know, newest kind of mint condition he wanted to, to open up that wouldn't melt on me. I'm not having a good time putting these blasters in his hands either. Ugh. Thought that would be the easiest thing. But I guess I'm so used to modern Hasbro stuff that just kind of melts or breaks in your hands. You got to be careful. Can't be manhandling the, these things too much. Ugh. Ah, yes. Ah. All right. Let's see if I can get these last two pegs. In there. Golly, you think I'm transforming a MP44 here? Optimus Prime. And that doesn't want to go, and I don't care. So, alright. So, if you look at it flat like this, that's pretty awesome. Looks good. Yeah. I'm okay with that. He just swooped over. Okay. I thought he was just kind of drooping, but no, that's that's a nice pose, actually. That's cool. Uh, these guys is uh, shiny, as I would have thought. Yeah, I don't know. But, you know, like I said, maybe it's supposed to be raining or something cause on Camino, and, you know, they're just, like, soaking wet. Uh, but pretty cool. <clears throat> and these are a little bigger than... Black Series figures, just just a little, you know, just enough to not be in scale. So there's my other two Django's, the one with the uh, Arena Pack and the one with the Camino Pack, and that's how they all look together. And I think they look pretty good. Yeah, would have been cool if you had like a removable helmet, but then again, the sculpt on Django's head would have. I probably wouldn't have liked it how the sculpt looked back then, so it's okay. But pretty cool Django. And all the same. So, uh, what do you guys think? Did you guys pick up this back in the day? Do you got any of these? Do you still got any of these? Are they uh, boxed up in your closet somewhere? Did you sell them all? Did you give them to Goodwill? Let me know in the comments. And uh, thanks for uh, hanging out with us today at Throwbacks. We're going to go throw one back, and uh, please do me a huge favor and hit like and subscribe, and uh, we'll have another video for you tomorrow, but until then, we will see ya!